Okay, I'm glad I came back up here because totally worth it. I would have had to gun all the way back here if I had yeah. gone anywhere further. Very good. That's my. I'm getting used to this game. I, I'm understanding its uh, layout and what. Yeah, you get what. you're getting a feel for what the hell the people making this were thinking. Yeah, I, I'm onto your game now. There's method to their madness. God, sometimes the way he's holding that sword, sometimes it just looks like he's got a big iron penis. Yeah. Well. What are you gonna do? Oh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I wanna take that blade <coughs> penis, I wanna shove it over the ass. Cause <laughs> that's where he likes it, up the ass. Um, uh, where's Yorda? Yorda is uh, way away. Wait, do you need bombs right now? Well, to do that bit, yeah, I'm just gonna put it there, and then I'm gonna have to get a um, bit of fire. Somehow. Yeah, there's probably do, fire do, 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 all, all do, about. So where's the thing you got to blow up? Right here, right above the chain. Oh, okay. And the fire is somewhere over here. Yeah, oh, okay. Fire. Yeah, that's not difficult. Okay. So where, where was it? Oh yeah, there's a wood up here. That's right, the wood. What is the most difficult thing to cut? This. <laughs> Let's cut it the paper. It's going to be even more difficult now that I've dropped the sword. I'd say the blade is the most difficult thing to cut. Its own blade. <laughs> I mean, how you go? Ah! I didn't realize it was there. Yeah, that, that's why it's so funny, because, like, why wood? There's lots of difficult. And who cuts wood with a knife? Well, here's the thing. If they said anything else stronger, then they just wouldn't be able to cut it. Mm. I mean, ceramic's good and everything, it's a good um, insulator, but, you know, that's, that's what it is. Just an insulator. Is it an insulator? I don't know. No, I think it's one of the it's best just, insulators. It's just glass. It's, it's just like a synthetic material, isn't it? Like plastic. Yeah, I guess. Right, so where are we now? We are somewhere new. We're up here. Oh, do you have to get. This is how you get Yorder up here. Why, why would I want to get Yorda up here, though? Because you got to get her across the bridge to uh, open the gate, haven't you? What gate? Uh, you know, those temple things. Don't you? Um, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything here. I mean, that's why you got to... Remember, you got to... She makes a bridge for you. And you open those. To open up the oh, so to she, open up the solar thing. So she starts here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah so uh, you could just drop down, I guess. I'm not dropping down there. No. I'll drop down to where she is. Da 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 da. Okay. Yeah. That was. Uh... Whoa! Holy shit! What are you doing, crazy bitch? Yeah, she's getting a taste for it that now, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, but that was a good thing, though. She's. She's saving me time. It's like, I didn't realize moving is so much better than sitting in a cage your whole life. <sighs> I want to do a power rock slide. <sniffs> oh, my fucking knees! I like to think after she gets out here and she like gets a job and you know she starts doing all this uh, tedious like um, like plumbing things, everything. Well, just anything. I mean, that's pretty pretty gross what you just said. Well, I mean, but. not tedious, but like physically active stuff. Yeah, and she gets like really exhausted. She's like. Oh, I just want to go back to my cage. <laughs> it was it was novel at first, but now I'm starting. It's like I'm I can't move as much, and my limbs are weak. Where's the couch? Is it here? Where's the couch? I'm I'm tired. That's what it is. Where's I'm the couch? Fucking tired. Is, is there it, even a couch here? There must be. Look around. I'm looking. So looking. What, wouldn't it be to the right? You know, the opposite of where it was. Um, in the other tower. No, no, to the right. What do you mean to the right? To the right of a this room. This is the right. You're on the left of a room, go to the right of a room. I'm on the right! Well, it depends you which go, direction yeah, you're looking. Yeah, from the entrance. I'm on the right. <laughs> and I looked over here. Alright. All right. Yeah, all right. It's there, all right, there might be in a, my opinion. There might be a couch outside. Yeah. It's okay. We're no, all there right. there wasn't a couch, no. I think it's... Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying there might be a couch up where the water was. <laughs> I don't think there was. Well, if not, then you just got a free ball. This one. 
I guess. And if I do fuck up, like Yoda gets killed or whatever, I'll I just have to jump off the balcony. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a giant freight elevator there, like there is in Metal Gear? Um, why would that be cute? Cool. Well, those elevators are just cool. Are they yes. real? Wouldn't it be cool if we had one in our house? No, because we wouldn't have a house. <laughs> yeah. It's bigger than our house. Um, That's about, I think it's about the same size, actually. Well, give or take some width and height. Shit. But yeah, are those things real? Or are they just um, like an anime thing? Because I saw one in Acura. And I think a lot of Acura inspired the visuals of... Uh, well, everything. But Metal Gear, quite a bit. Well, at least that wasn't hard. Wasn't it? Wasn't the last one like it went all over the place? Well, this could be difficult if. I mean, I think, like you said, you're just getting used to it now, so it wasn't that tricky. Like I'm, I might have missed that lever if I um, if I had been playing this. Yeah. Uh. Oh, good, it actually worked this time. She went on it with me. Yeah. So Whenever she doesn't walk forward it. enough, I'm always worried she's going to hit up the back of her scalp on the way down. Okay, so. Before I light these, I'm just going to go near them. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm just going to go near them and see if anything spawns. Because if anything spawns, I want my sword at ready. Mm. Nope. Actually, that might be something it does. It might actually... Wait until I can pick up a stick. Well, no, like when you actually light something, it will set up uh, the monsters as like a tricky way to get you with your stick. Where's the nearest fire? Fire! Oh God, I have to go all the way here. Wait, where do I have to go? Oh God, I have to go all the way over there just to get some fire. Okay, there's you no fire You're me up here. inside. You're tearing my ears up. Ah, I'm sorry. I guess I'll stop now. Nolan North was doing Christopher Walken impressions. Oh, there it is. The good old couch. Hooray! Like, afterwards, Batman, can, can we have a snack? Sure, Skaggy. <laughs> Shaggy. Sure, Shaggy. Well, I'll have a snack. Hmm. That's, um, <laughs> an old episode. We, um... We were watching uh, some DuckTales the other day, weren't we? Yes, we were. We watched an old one that we really like, where they go into space. Yeah. And there's like uh, a Captain Kirk piss take, isn't there? Sort of, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. You captured my crew! What do you want? How the hell am I going to get this fire all the way over there? I think you got to light it and jump. And it'll just light everything. Well, then you'll have one fire as like... Okay, sorry Yoda, gotta leave you. No, no, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Isn't there a fire to the left? What are you talking about? Alright, never mind, go. I was wrong. I thought the lanterns were on the inside. No, no, wait, just use that to top yourself up. I'm getting Yoda! Oh, okay, alright, I'm sorry. Where is she? Oh, sorry, I thought you were coming back here for fire. <laughs> no, Yoda! <laughs> yes, right. Lower yourself onto this fire. Oh, it went out. That's a shame. What a shame. I was hoping to burn your bum. No, I... I don't want to be burned. What is that off? Burned? Uh, don't know. I think I've said it. I think it was like a really early episode of this series where I made a joke of her getting burned. And she's like, no, I don't want to get burned. I thought, it, it reminds me a little bit of that bit you did with Paz in Metal Gear. Like, oh no! Oh yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, one of my uh, finest moments. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it one of your finest moments. Alright, it was one of my l least shameful moments. Okay. Okay, I'll just... You puck your butt there, I'll be right back. Um, would you Hot be... stuff coming through. Ash vs. the Evil Dead has been going on recently. Have you been watching it? Absolutely. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. It's, um, I mean, I don't really know what to say about it because, you know, normally when stuff comes back, it's disappointing. 
and yeah. some and other times when it comes back it's so fan wanky it's like you enjoy it but you, you it's, fan wanky well that I, sounds like female masturbation <laughs> yeah i guess it does a bit um you know like when red dwarf 10 came back and it's like it's good but it's not quite there carling. you what I, I said carling why because in the carling ad, oh, they right. say, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, not quite... it's not, it's good, but it's not quite carling. I mean, I think I've come to appreciate Red Dwarf 10 more now because, um, you know, when you get caught up in the hype and it affects how you see something. But mm -hmm. uh, when I went back and watched it after I'd been waiting for so long, I actually quite enjoyed it for what it was. But yeah, it, it's just such a good, it's such a smooth continuation of the movies, and yeah, that's all I can really say. It's just picked up where it left off. It's not, um... I mean, it doesn't... At the end of the first episode, it does a whole big, like, fan service -y bit. Where, um... Damn, even that sounds a bit like it. Um, but it does this whole bit... Where, um... Because for, for the whole episode, he's become a bit old. He's, like, got a crappy job. Um, down on his luck. He's a bit... You know, you know what Ash is like, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's basically grown into a bit of an old sleaze. Like, the first episode, it opens up with him, like, banging some random woman in a bar after lying about how he lost his hand. Saying, oh, yeah, I saved a kid on the train tracks. <laughs> it's funny, though, because he's like... Why don't you just tell the truth? That's a pretty badass story in itself. Well, no one would believe him. I guess. Yeah, but, um... <laughs> oh, God, I just had a horrible thought. Because his hand's like a demon now... Mm-hmm. Um, well, yeah. it, it's not a demon. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Did it get sucked into a portal? I'm not sure. I think it might have been destroyed. It might still be... No, no, because the last thing it did in Evil Dead 2 was stab that woman in the back while she was trying to open the portal. So it's still at large. It could be. It could be out there fingering people. <laughs> it could be out there just, like, putting his finger that in That would be so cool assholes. if at some point during the TV series, Ash's hand comes back as a villain. Yeah, that... Like, evil it. Absolutely should be thing. No thing. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I think I had that idea for a video game once. What, you play the hand? Well, no, no, I was thinking, like, if they ever did a video game set after Evil Dead 3 where he's stuck in the future, um, a good thing to do would be, like, to have the hand as a re reoccurring boss. <laughs> yeah. A reoccurring boss, yeah. It's definitely got that <laughs> um, quality about it. Yeah, because it's so mischievous, isn't it? It's like a little bastard. It's like, yeah, it's mischievous, and because it has an aff uh, a connection, well, <coughs> a connection, uh, with the main character yeah it it makes sense that it would keep on coming back pestering like it's a demon and it wants the rest of the body to be a demon as well mm. especially like how it flips him off and stuff mm. um but yeah there's like a bit of the end of the first episode where um he suits back up and it's just like yes fucking yes this is what i've been waiting for and then the next episode's really good they say groovy yeah he does that's like like the last line of the whole thing and then the next episode is good, and then the next episode after that was okay. Not as good as the first two, but still good. And uh, yeah, that's where we are so far. Would you, um, Christian might want to watch it. But... I'd want to watch it, yeah. Oh, right, cool. So, um, I mean, it's just, uh, Mum wouldn't want to watch it, obviously, because it has demons in it. And she has some weird hang-ups about demons. But if we can find a time for, like, you, me, and Christian to watch it, I'd be game for re-watching it with you guys. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't even watch it first. I'd uh, go on first viewing. Yeah, what I think, I think Mum's problem with demons and that is because she had a relationship with one, and um, mm. he wronged her in a really, in a really bad way. Like he was, he was fooling around with other um, demon women, and uh, Mum was just like really upset, and that's why she doesn't like demon stuff. Because it reminds her of an old flame. Old what? Because it reminds her of an old friend. No. Boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright, that's a bit of a weird thing to say. What do you mean? I'm just... I, I was going to say... We like, don't actually know the reason, well, so I'm maybe, maybe a demon owes her 20 bucks. That would be fine, but... Saying that she used to have a demon boyfriend is a bit weird. Why is that weird? I don't know. I guess maybe I'm just weird. It's not real. I know. Anyway, yeah, uh, we could watch that together. I wanted to watch it at Darren's, but uh, he's um, he doesn't really want to watch stuff when we're around, does he? No, he's a bit gear like that. I think maybe, 
he's a little worried it will be crap because um yeah yeah I, yeah i could see him finding things wrong with it anyway we're, we're nearly out we are nearly out yeah fuck you flying one more dog monstrosity ah! <laughs> he kind of he's kind of got um light jack wings hasn't he hmm you know how like you can see like it's just like the bones yeah the bones and then you can Tra he slightly got like um things to it. It's like a translucent skin. Yeah. It's cool. It's a cool design, Light Jack. I mean, a lot. Of, I know a lot of people don't like Light Jack because he's just um, they, for they the most part pretty pointless. I think he's a bit tacky. Yeah, I think people make people think that it makes the game a bit easy. Well, you can just regenerate your life whenever you want. Well, yeah, and then you got like 50, well, not 50, you got 12 guns. Like, that's the thing. You can use guns so much that you're, it's almost not worth using eco powers. Is he gonna let me save before anything? Yeah. Good. Because otherwise, I would be mad. I wouldn't want to make the trip all over again. Mm. It would make me angry. It would make me sad. It would make me feel my dick and make <laughs> me feel so glad. Okay. I don't know. Just to make myself feel better. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> 